you want to change your hair, you want to add makeup to your hunter, you want to change the outfit that your hunter is wearing, all of these cosmetic options cost gloss. Um, buying a gift for the heroes, you want to go buy Blade a nice little book from the gift shop, you can do that, cost gloss. So yeah, we're going to put that to action right now, actually. We have a, we have a pretty good amount of gloss. Um, we are leaning into the light hunter, and one of the joys of building your own Marvel superhero is unlocking different cosmetic options, yep. and then making them look how you want them to look, since that's part of the huge appeal of all these heroes. So I'd like to go in and start making a light hunter okay. um, before we go on the next mission. I think, you know, she's passing that threshold. This was her sort of resurrection look, but there's a lot of cool things here we can do. Yeah, I mean, we, we always show the same hunter just to be consistent, but there are a lot of options, a lot of cosmetic options the player has. Now, some of those, like the full eyes there, those you're gonna have to find over the course of the game. Um, Something else we don't talk about uh, very often on stream is that there are two uh, body type options for the hunter as well. Yes, that's right, that's right. So you can you can change, and that you have to do at the very start of the game, you can't do that here. Uh, but yes, we have two different body type options for the hunter. Oh two my. different voice actors. Two different voice actors. Fully Both voiced. Of incredible, yeah. fully voiced. Um, you have something in mind here. You're definitely going for a look here, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking almost like, you know, the a white wizard or something. Um, I definitely have something in mind. Let's see what we can get. So also, you can also get different armor types. You're not your... gonna put eyeshadow on? I'll put eyeshadow on. You want eyeshadow? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's put on some eyeshadow. Our artist did an amazing job. Obviously, there there's so many options that we can't just sit here and, and show everything, but yeah, you can choose you can choose what kind of eyeshadow, and of course, you can choose the color you want for your eyeshadow, and then of course, we have eyeliner, different versions of eyeliner, and lipstick, and. Just put some silver eyeshadow on there. Yeah, that oh, look actually, that looks good. Good call. See? We Have did we get a question from Twitch. In a previous stream, you said the battles last 15 to 20 minutes, reading our receipts. How long is an average visit to the Abbey? That's harder to define. That, that is much harder to define. Um, it's a good question. I would say that uh, depending on how much story and how much you like to interact with the story, there are a lot of optional... Um, options for you as a player whoa look at all those skins um and so it could be it could be 10 minutes if a, if a mission is is 10 to 15 it could be 10 minutes in the abbey it could be shorter if you're not doing all the optional content it could be a lot longer if you say oh today's the day i'm going to go out and explore the grounds I, I think that's the key with any good rpg it's there's so much optionality there if you want to go straight line to combat you almost can of course you want to upgrade your cards but if you want to immerse yourself more in the world, there's all these options to talk to all these heroes and legends at, at your discretion. Right. All right, we, we got a pretty good looking. Do you like the Battle Hunter? Yeah, that's great. Right, and, cool. and to see that, can you show the pallets real quick? Yeah. Just to show real quick. Again, these you'll have to find over the course of the game, and you can earn these through friendship, you can earn these from hangouts, you can find them in different chests around the Abbey grounds. Uh, but yeah, there are lots of different color options. Every skin has many, many color options um, that you can unlock. 